In this episode, we begin the journey north, away from South Florida. We're going to visit a brewery in Titusville and the Bluegrass Festival in Perry, near Pelicamp, our North Florida retreat, still under construction at this point. Then, I have a feeling Georgia will be on our minds. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. I always hitch up. I always hitch up before. Um, I mean, I always fill up before hitching up, but today I forgot. So we came to our tight gas station here in Flagami, and hopefully we won't hit anything. There we go. Turn right onto West Flagler Street. New adventure begins. I mean, the main part of the adventure is probably gonna be getting out of Miami. There seems to be a little bit of traffic. But other than that, first up, Titusville, Florida, very close to Cape Canaveral. Half a mile. Turn left and, uh, Avenue, Kennedy Space Center. For now, enjoy the ride. I mean, we've seen this before, but I'll show it to you again. Just because. It's a beautiful day, South Florida. Very hot, very warm. A36, also known as the Dolphin Expressway, our main east-west road. Not too bad today, actually. We can see Marlins Park here on the right as we approach downtown. Of course, there's always a little bit of a bottleneck in this area, and this is the thing. There is only one lane going to I-95 North, and then the people who want to go downtown or Miami Beach, and it is a mess. Yeah, a real mess. Everybody cutting everybody off. It is insufficient, considering the amount of people who want to get on I-95 North. Anyway, welcome to Miami. I-95 North a little congested too, and that's downtown Fort Lauderdale and the Fort Lauderdale International. Coming up, Martin County Rest Area, the first one we encounter on the way north after we leave the crazy South Florida metropolitan area behind. This is where I usually take my first break. We're having some mahi mahi dip, and it's really good. What's all this traffic? Up here? Probably an accident. Oh, I hope they're okay. Check it out, Bucky's! Here we are at the Titusville KOA. In the past, I've been able to get a good site. I've been here before as part of my almost bi-weekly commute to develop the property, but not today. This time we're all the way in the back and the neighbors have taken over our site. This is the type of thing that can turn a potentially good experience into a bad one. And I almost ran over the neighbor's kid. I'm so glad we're here for only one night. Also, longtime Chief Pelican Heads Yahaira and Odie happen to be staying at the campground as well, so they came to say hello. Cool! This episode is sponsored by Magic Spoon. 
Think of it as cereal reinvented. They have eight delicious flavors. Cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, blueberry, cinnamon, maple, waffle, and cookies and cream. And these last two, cookies and cream and maple waffle, were limited time flavors in March and they actually sold out. You go to the website and you get to build your own box with your four favorite flavors. The main thing here is zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving. It is also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free, and they actually taste good. Mm. Now Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed by a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Click my link below and use my code at checkout to get $5 off your order. Now, what flavor will you try? I like my cookies and cream, actually. Lily found the brewery, so that's where we're going. To a brewery. Playa Linda or something like that is called. We decided to drive by downtown first, because there was another tap room, but we've decided to go to the original instead. And here we are, Playa Linda Brewing Company. Well, here we are, this is Playa Linda Brew Pub here in Titusville, and look what they have. That's like a... Yeah, if an orca and the space shuttle had a baby, this is what it would look like. Yeah, they have a... Dream Chaser by Sierra Nevada Beer Corporation. All right, let's go inside. Space Guardians IPA. We got a pretzel, and this is supposed to be poutine. There's supposed to be, to be fries under that, so let's dig in. And we got one to go, of course. Well, this was the uh, Titusville, uh, Cape Kennedy, no. Kennedy Space Center, KOA, which is very nice, unless you get one of these sites here in the back. This part is Head not... west toward Old Pennsylvania Avenue, but then not, turn right onto Old Pennsylvania Avenue. It's, it's not that, it's not bad, but it's, it's not as good as the sites near the front. And uh, this is the third time we're here, and it's, it's a good sort of halfway point to Taylor County if you don't want to take the turnpike. Turn right at Ontario and Ontario. at some point we're going to come back and uh, maybe visit the Space Center, which is what most of these people are here for. You know, busy family campground, it's all good. Cool to meet up again with, with Yehida and Odie. And now we continue. The next left toward Florida 46 East. Then next, turn right onto Florida 46 East. Next destination, we are neither hungry nor we need gas, but there's a new Bucky's in town, so next destination, Bucky's! Originally from Texas, Bucky's is quickly becoming one of the most popular gas station chains in the nation, mainly because of the huge size, cheap gas, clean bathrooms, decent barbecue, and an outstanding marketing campaign. It is almost a destination unto itself. Loved by most, except truck drivers because they are not welcome. Let's put gas and get some of their famous brisket sandwiches. And we happen to stumble upon executive producer George and his family. It is always so great to meet viewers on the road. Here we are, Bucky's Daytona Beach. Remember when this was only in Texas? Now they have them, you know, they're expanding to, to Alabama and now in Florida. Oh, here we go. They have a huge, huge inflatable bucky here by the entrance. And I'm going to take a selfie right now. There's something about it, isn't there? Go 
this time I decided to get the, the sliced brisket and we have some some fries because they didn't have um, they didn't have tater tarts not fries, the chips we're gonna take state route 40 the scenic route west towards Ocala is that a nest I see on the Walmart sign? Very pretty area here as we approach Ocala. And this is pretty much the horse capital of Florida. One of these days, we'll do an in-depth video on this area. Always a traffic jam at the junction with I-75. And some of the cheapest gas, too. It is horse farm after horse farm. Very beautiful and cool to see the horses sometimes. To make a long story short, eventually we made it to Perry, but at this point in April 2021, Pelly Camp is not ready yet, so we decided to stay at the KOA. Besides, there's a bluegrass festival in town, so we want to be close. We just did the live stream here from the KOA, internet is iffy, and now we're going to the bluegrass festival. I'll now pass it to Kat and she'll tell you we're going to do one of those songs for you. Here we are, the Perry Bluegrass Festival. We're going to get something to eat and enjoy the music. I don't know if you've ever heard me say it before, but I really like this music. Alright, here we are. I forgot to film it because I'm a bad YouTuber, but we installed our 50-30 amp box down there. And now Rob is figuring out how to connect it to the, the main panel. <laughs> yeah, that's all we got done in Pelicamp during this trip before heading up to Georgia. Oh yeah, good morning. Yeah, it's a, it's a rainy day here in Florida, as you can tell. <sighs> Let's do this. I need to dump because I want to take a shower. And the gray tank, it's probably Pretty full. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, I gotta do the black first. This is once again Perry, Florida, also known as the tree capital of the south and forest capital of Florida, Taylor County's seat and the closest city to our North Florida property. And what is all this traffic? Hmm, must be all these people moving in from other parts of the state, huh? <laughs> all kidding aside, it is not a bad looking small town all things considered, and it's got everything we need, for the most part. And if anything, Tallahassee is just an hour drive away. And it does feel a lot more deep south than I was originally expecting. Definitely more South Georgia than the Florida we're used to. But I don't mind at all. That was kind of the point of finding property in this area. That slower pace, that simpler life, that southern hospitality. That is totally a thing, by the way. We're now going under I-10, which means we're almost in Georgia.
And there it is, Georgia State Line. They don't bother with the big sign on these less important roads, but I actually love riding on them. Especially when we're not in a hurry, which unfortunately is rare. Eventually, we take I-75 for a little bit. Our destination, Tifton KOA. Well, yeah, we've been all day in here, working and stuff. Pretty much working. And uh, now we're gonna go eat dinner. And uh, every time I come up uh, I-75 as I hit Tifton here, Uh, I've seen this sign for this Mexican restaurant called El Cazador. So let's go check it out. Dos X Amber, of course, my favorite Mexican beer. Illy got the carne asada and I got the carnitas. That was El Cazador in Tifton, Georgia here. Very good carnitas. Now let's go back to the campground. Well, good night. On the road again. Yeah, we didn't do much here in Tifton. It was just uh, basically a couple of working days. And now we're gonna find a post office and then we continue north towards the Atlanta area. Driving through Atlanta, of course, always an adventure. Totally worth it because we are going to one of my favorite areas in the entire United States. One of my happy places. The North Georgia Mountains. The Blairsville area this time to be exact. We are even going to revisit Georgia's tallest mountain. Local wineries. Vogel State Park. But more about that on the next episode. Until then. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm free in my RV. I 